In my last videos on uh, ship stability, I discussed the topic of bilging and I took up a couple of examples. Today I move on to permeability of compartments which is linked to the bilging of a vessel or a bilging of a tank. Now make sure that you watch those videos before you watch this video. I have given the links to the previous videos in the description section below. So let's get started with the topic of permeability of compartments in the area of ship stability. I'll discuss the theory first and then I'll take up an example. Permeability is the amount of water that can enter a compartment after it has been bilged. So on a ship, for example, let's say you have a tank or a compartment and there is a hole in the hull or there has been a collision due to which a hole has developed or it is a structural damage and what you are of course at sea and water starts to come into the hole if that compartment is specially under the water and the water starts to come into the vessel that is called bilging. Permeability becomes the amount of water that can enter that compartment after it has been bilged. When I say compartment it could be a compartment, it could be a tank, depends on the kind of ship you are sailing on. Now when an empty compartment is bilged Common sense says that the whole of the buoyancy that was provided by that compartment is now lost. So what happens here is, for example, this is a vessel, right? This is a vessel and the vessel, part of the vessel is submerged under the water. Let's say WL is the water line. All right. And now there is a compartment here. Let's say this is the midship compartment. This is a compartment midship. This is that compartment, right? Now, if there is a hole in this compartment, all the water from the surrounding area, because this is under the water line, will start to fill up. Now, if this is an empty compartment, of course, all the buoyancy. Now, when the compartment is empty and it is the water under the water line, it is providing buoyancy to the vessel, right? Allows it to float, provides it more buoyancy. But when the compartment starts to get in all water and it is all empty, whole of that buoyancy is lost. 100% of that is lost. Therefore, values of permeability permeability is denoted by this symbol here the value of permeability for an empty compartment is considered to be 100% because 100% of the compartment can get filled so that is the amount of water that can enter that compartment in an engine room it is 80 to 85 percent because engine room has huge machinery pistons engines working there so naturally the whole compartment is not empty it is filled with a lot of equipments and machineries so that's why the engine room is about 80 to 85 percent it can be filled with water a grain filled cargo hold has about 60 to 65 percent because water can actually seep in between the grain and still a 65 percent of that compartment can take in that water similarly cold filled compartment is 36 percent because a lot of this water will get absorbed by the coal now that has different implications but uh, the permeability of a coal filled compartment is about 36 percent and finally a filled water ballast tank if a water ballast tank is completely filled then of course the permeability is zero percent because water will not enter it will enter and exit it is still the same it cannot become more all right because it was already filled the buoyancy was already lost so it won't make a difference so you have to remember that higher is the volume, higher is the value of permeability, greater is the loss of buoyancy. So naturally, if a compartment was empty before and I fill it up with water from the sides, the permeability becomes 100%. So of course, the 100% of the buoyancy is lost. That's why higher the value of permeability, greater is the loss of buoyancy. Common sense again. Permeability is calculated here permeability is denoted by this symbol permeability is calculated by the formula broken stowage divided by stowage factor multiplied by 100 and it is mentioned as a notation of percentage broken stowage is calculated as per ton of the stow of cargo now what is broken stowage for those of you who don't know what broken stowage is broken stowage is defined as the space between packages which remains unfilled so if there are spaces between packages loaded in the cargo hold or tank and it's unfilled that spaces are called broken storage water can actually seep in there and storage factor is the volume occupied by a unit weight of cargo in a cargo hold or a tank depends on where you are loading that cargo in a space you can say cargo space 
all right so when it comes to permeability the increase in draft when bilging is calculated is denoted by the letter x it's calculated by the formula v divided by a minus a where v is the volume of the lost buoyancy and a minus a is the area of the intact water plane that means a capital a is the area of the water plane before bilging and minus and small a small a is the area of the bilged compartment that's why if you subtract the area of the bilged compartment from the overall water plane area before bilging you get the area of the intact water plane so this is how the increase in draft is calculated when bilging this is what i have covered in my previous videos but when a bilged compartment contains cargo the concept of permeability comes into play and there the increase in draft which is again denoted by the letter x is calculated by the formula permeability multiplied by the volume of the lost buoyancy divided by area of the water plane before bilging minus area of the bilged compartment multiplied by the permeability of the compartment so permeability comes into play now all right let's take an example so that you get to understand this concept better so this is an example here numerical example there is a box shaped vessel which is 64 meters long and it is floating at an even keel draft of 3 meters all right there is a compartment which is located midships and it is 12 meters long and it contains cargo having a permeability of 25 percent all right 25 percent means 25 by 100 which is equal to 0.25 always remember that all right 25 percent means 25 by 100 you have to calculate the increase in draft if this compartment is bilged so there here it is a solution i have actually visualized how the whole scenario is playing out again this is not a very good looking diagram but i'm sure you'll get the concept of it this is like a sideway view of the vessel the vessel's length is 64 meters the length of the midship compartment is about 12 meters i have shown that here the initial draft is 3 meters with the original water line but as the building will take place or then the water line the vessel will get submerged as the water starts to fill in the compartment so the new water line will be w1 l1 and this is pretty much the scenario so i can now calculate using the formula that i understood above so increase in draft denoted by the letter x is equal to permeability multiplied by the volume of the compartment or volume of the lost buoyancy as you see here volume of lost buoyancy yes so that will be volume of the midships compartment so permeability which is 0 0.25 i said 25 by 100 is 0 0.25 multiplied by the volume volume will be 12 that is the length of the compartment multiplied by the breadth of the compartment which is not given multiplied by the height of the compartment up to which the water is getting filled that is the original draft that is 3 meters so 12 by b by 3 multiplied by 25 then in the denominator we have area of intact water plane so area of water plane before bilging that was length of the vessel multiplied by the breadth of the vessel the breadth is not known only the length is known minus permeability which is 0 0.25 multiplied by the area of the bilged compartment which is a length of the bilged compartment multiplied by the breadth of the bilged compartment if you multiply the values in the numerator you get 9b so 12 by 3 by 20.25 is 3 9 multiplied by b is 9b and in the denominator you have 64b minus 3b which will be 64 which will be 9b minus 61b because 64 minus 3 is 61 b and b gets cancelled 9 by 61 is 0 0.15 meter so this is the increase in draft all right this is the amount by which the draft will increase so if the original draft was 3 meters it will increase by 0 0.15 so the new draft will become 3.15 so this length here is 0 0.15 and the total length here is 3.15 all right i'll take up more examples uh, and put it up for you guys to watch so that you get a better understanding of the topic. Bye for now.